Okay, cool. I finally deleted enough stuff. Um, <laughs> this is like my cozy bed, not my cozy couch. <laughs> I've been laid up for two weeks, you guys. You didn't know it. Well, I was going places, but not like a lot of places. Like I was literally laid up like, like, <laughs> like somebody that can't walk or something. <laughs> I mean, I just was like laid up for two weeks. I just didn't. I was just thinking to myself, I was like, well, like, and I don't have no makeup on today, but I'm going to put some makeup on before I go and brush my teeth and all that. I just, I go through a whole ritual, like when it comes to brushing my teeth, like it's crazy. I have to boil my toothbrushes if I haven't bought a new one, which I'm going to buy a new one today while I'm out. Everything is so expensive nowadays. Um, we're all on a budget. Um, so like, um... Like, I think me and my roommates were doing the same thing, too. Like, they were laid up, too. Because, like, we we were, like, fighting homelessness. So, like, when you're fighting, like, carlessness, homelessness, you're just kind of, like, bouncing literally from place to place. So, um, I was just checking my make, checking to see if my eyebrows and I don't want to have any hair on my face. I hate, I hate when I have little hair whiskers or whatever. Like, oh, God, I hate that. I'll be, like, literally talking to someone, pulling out a hair out of my, I'll be like, like pulling it out myself. Like I just bought a tweezers too and I lost it. So I don't know where it is. Um, it was in one of my bags and it's like, I have so many bags, like I'm a bag lady. No. <laughs> so anyway, I was just enjoying, I really was enjoying just laying around for two weeks and not doing nothing. And I was happy with it. So I was just trying to give, give you guys an idea on, like when life gets too hard, you know, for you, just, just stop, you know, like just, just stop living your life. No. I mean, not stop living your life, but I just gave up on riding the bus. Okay. Like my, I guess I'm spoiled. I was, I used to come out of a limousine. Can you imagine going from a limousine to riding a bus? You're like, no, that's not cutting it. But no, I, um, when I was younger, I was spoiled. I'm still spoiled because I've had cars all my life that I've bought myself. I must have bought like 30 cars already just by having bad relationships and having to like bounce back from stuff. And this one kid crashed my car. I wasn't even dating him. He was just a friend of mine, but some friend. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, he's a subscriber to my YouTube. So yeah, Matthew, where are you now? bucko I'm just kidding no it's just um what they used to say that back in the days like when you're watching like one of those shows like um happy days or something one of those we used to watch happy days we used to watch Laverne and Shirley we used to watch all kinds of good shows when we were younger the Partridge Family the Waltons they had like the best shows back in the day when we were growing up I've even, like, I had gained my weight back, so I gained, like, 18 pounds on top of my regular 200, so I was, like, 218, but I think it's kind of going down a little bit, too, so I just haven't been to the gym, but once I start going to the gym regularly, I usually lose weight, like, I have memberships all over that are for free, um, but my EOS Fitness, one of my favorite gyms, because I used to watch movies there. My trainer banned me from there. It's a long story, but I don't, I know that if we went to court, they would lose in court. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it. You know, I just don't like to do paperwork or I would probably sue a lot of people, but I still am pursuing Santa Clara County for the lawsuit. I just have to like type up all this stuff. It's like, when am I going to be? in a computer lab every day. Like if I had a computer and a printer at home, I would do it from home. I would be literally typing letters every day and suing everybody every day. I probably would. Um, yeah. So yeah, they brutalized me in California out of my kids just for volunteering for a parenting class. So hopefully, um, justice will get served. I just have to keep on, you know, um, serving God because I'm asking God for justice for what they did to me and my daughters and they robbed us of over 50 grand of social security checks and they're trying to get away with it so hopefully the FBI will start doing their job or they're using 
this is my oh this is my analogy on it. I think they're using CPS to go after like whatever criminal families or if they think they're criminal families. I'm not a criminal. I was gonna go be a criminal justice student, like basically, but I wasn't part of no criminal family. But when they did all that stuff to me, I just pretty much was like, well, I really don't care what I do right now because I didn't have my kids. So I was just doing whatever, um, you know, 